Yeah, I know this this looks ridiculous, but you know what's ridiculous? This is RMA number seven for my Switch. So hey, what's going on, everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario. I'm not mad. I'm just I'm just disappointed. I'm just kind of in a little bit of a state of disbelief, to be honest. Now I love the Switch, right? I, I I've I've put on for the system. I've talked. I've said nothing but good things about it outside of these videos here, and this is a little series now that's on the channel. You see, I've had to do several RMAs with this. I'm not going to go into the full details, but in short, my first three RMAs were all controller related. My next three RMAs were all console related, and now we're on RMA number seven, which is technically the fourth one for the console itself. So, in short, what's the issue here? Somehow, I don't know how. Never done this before, but somehow the left speaker is blown. It still works, but if you've ever listened to a blown speaker, it's not that it doesn't make any noise, is that ev it, everything coming from it sounds really distorted and kind of grainy and just gross overall. And that's what happened. Now, I don't have a way of playing media on here, so it's, and I wouldn't. But it's not like I was playing videos really loud. It's not like I was listening to music really loud on here. The only thing I've done on this is I've played about 15 hours of South Park. And that game I notice is actually quieter, like noticeably quieter than other games. So I did have to turn it up a little bit, but I can't push it past what the system limits. So even so, it's a game that could be running at full blast that is quieter than other games. And somehow this happened. I don't even know. So first of all, let me demonstrate it to you all. So I'm going to have to get in game here. And from the system sounds here, it doesn't sound that bad, but uh, let's go ahead and take a listen once this loads up. And you know what, maybe... There we go. All right. Brought the chair down so you could see the hats a little bit better. Oh, man, that's... Oh, God, that sounds so bad. All right, so I'm going to do this very basic here. I have my mic in front of me. I'm going to be putting the speakers up to my mic. So this is how it should normally sound, right? I'm going to play this through the right speaker while covering up the ports for the left speaker. So this will mostly be muted. Okay, so that sounds good enough, you know, like these speakers aren't going to sound beautiful, but it sounds fine. This is it coming from the left speaker. Now, for the untrained ear, for anything that kind of sound like, like kind of like cracky like that, or staticky, that is the sound that it's producing. It's not terrible, but at the same time, it's kind of one of those things where if I'm hooking it up to my dock, it's okay, because you know that's all through HDMI and HDMI audio. If I plug in headphones, it's okay as well too. However, if I'm playing somewhere and I don't have headphones and I'm playing through the speakers, uh, one thing I've noticed is it's definitely hard to, when I'm playing through the game, there's several times where it's hard to discern, you know, the audio of what characters are saying. So there's like little words and such I'm just not going to pick up on. Of course, I could turn on subtitles or I could just kind of cover the left speaker and that seemed to alleviate it. But the point is, this is something on the system that has busted. And mind you, this is about three months after getting it back. You see, every time you RMA a system, you end up getting a 100-day warranty on here. So here's the deal. This is going to be going back. This is going to be RMA'd. Nintendo did come through on here. Nintendo really did come through. So what happened was I contacted them today. I told them what was going on. The guy was extremely polite about everything. And he said, okay, you know what? You're going to have to send in the system. And if we do have to repair it, you're going to have to pay a small repair fee. Are you okay with that? And I said, sure, let, let's see what's going on. So 
he ended up walking me through all the steps and he was doing some troubleshooting. I was actually out walking my dog while I was talking to him. And I was like, dude, I don't have the system in front of me, but listen, I'll tell you, this is, it's blown. There's, there's, there's no, there's nothing that I can change here. There's nothing. I've tested so many times. I've done everything. Like this thing's just blown. And he, he understood. He was cool with that. And then he said, okay, well, you know what? To RMA this, it is, it was exactly seven days out of the extended warranty they gave me, the 100-day the warranty. So it was exactly a week out, which I should have contacted them when this happened because honestly, I noticed this over a week ago. And in my head, I was like, oh, it's probably out of warranty. I'm not going to do anything about it. And then today I got inspired to do it for some reason. I think I just finally got annoyed enough to do it. But anyways, when it came down to this, he said, look, because it's out of warranty, we're going to have to do a out of warranty, complete console repair. Uh, we could possibly lose your data, but we're going to do the best to back everything up. We're going to send you all this stuff. It's going to cost $100 plus shipping plus taxes for your area. Is that cool? And I'm just like, no. Nah. No, I, I really don't want to pay for it. So if I have to pay for it, I'm just not going to RMA it. Like, if you've seen my previous videos with other RMAs, I did negotiate with them. But at this point, there was no negotiation for me. I was like, no, if you all are going to charge me, I'm not going to send it in. Like, it's a speaker. Yeah, it's disappointing. But I to me, it's not worth the $100 plus that I'm going to have to spend to RMA this in. And the guy was saying, okay, well, you know, when you send it in, we're going to do a full console replacement. Uh, apparently that's what he was saying, but he's saying that they're going to do a full console replacement. They'll give me a new warranty. And he's like, is that still too much for you? And I told him like, dude, I don't know if you, if you can see this, but look at my console history. One, this is only a week out of warranty. So I don't know if anything can be waived on this. If not, it's fine. But two, I've had to send my console in three different times. And even though that warranty has been applied each time, it's like every time I send it in, I, I get another issue that I have to send it back for. So I'm just not really, that doesn't make me feel safe, to be honest. That's kind of just, it's kind of just going over my head, to be honest with you. So I told him like, look, uh, I just don't want to pay for it. So if you have to charge me, I'm not going to send it in and I'll just have a busted speaker and I'll live with it because it's not like it's the screen. It's not like it's anything else. It's just a speaker. Yeah, the audio is not going to be as crisp, but whatever. But he put me on hold for a few minutes and they actually ended up giving me a free RMA on this. So shout out to Nintendo on that. Seriously, they end up doing that for one of my controllers. They did it for the console once and they ended up doing it again. So we're going to get this thing sent out. Now, I am going to be holding on to this for a few days because honestly, I want to play on it. I'm going to be taken out of town for a little bit, but then it's going to get boxed up. It's going to go out to Nintendo. I'll be getting it back. And thanks to the power of editing, within a few seconds, you will see me unboxing this and testing it out and making sure that it is all good. So time to get this packed up and sent to Nintendo. <sighs> it's been about two weeks. It's about 7.30 in the morning on a Saturday. Good morning if you're watching this on a Saturday here. I had to wake up at 6.30 a day. I had to drop off my girlfriend somewhere for a commitment that she had, but oh well, it's still a good day. You know why? So I was able to get a decent amount of sleep, surprisingly enough. And I got my Switch yesterday. I didn't open it yesterday because I had things to do, but I got it. Again, it's been about two weeks. And I just want to say, <laughs> it's a little bit of a first world problem. But it's slightly annoying. One of the things that's annoying every time I have to send these back is y'all don't realize I'm about two or three weeks without a Switch every single time. And I didn't buy this thing to send it out constantly. I bought this thing to actually play it. But mind you, I got the Switch, got the Seven Hats, got my coffee. Shout out to Seattle. Place is awesome. Oh, man. Let's go ahead. Well, you know, before I open this, I do want to get into a couple things. I kind of want to answer a few questions that I could have done earlier in the video, but I digress. I'm doing them now. I wanted to answer a few questions or kind of address a few things that I've seen in some of the previous videos that I've done here in related to the RMA, the, the Switch RMA Chronicles is what I'm calling it. So number one, I think it was only like one person who had said this, but somebody said that I'm not very tech savvy kind of based on this series. I, I don't, I'm generally a pretty humble person, and I don't really think highly of myself, but I would think that if you took a look at my channel and saw what a majority of my content was, which is tutorial-based, could be hardware, software modifications, uh, a lot of soldering in there as well, too. Also, based on the fact that IT-related stuff has 
been my primary source of income for over half my life now at this point. Um, no? No, I think I'm good, bro. No, I'm good. The second thing I want to address is several people have said you need to take better care of your systems. Well, I, I do, actually. Uh, there is one video that would have come out before this one where, as a test, I was banging around a GameCube a little bit, but generally, I'm not throwing these things around. I'm not scratching them up. I'm not, like, dinging them all over the place. I don't even remember a time I dropped my Switch. I, I'm telling you, I don't even remember a time when that happened. So... I generally take very good care of these. I have multiple cases for them as well too. But on top of that, I'm, I'm gonna show you this as well. So I bought this system initially on launch. So that would have been March of 2017, right? I've had three controller RMAs. I've now had four console RMAs. So we got that out. I decided to dig this up out of my basement. This right here is my original PSP. This is the PSP for me, right here. So. There's the actual console. This is the original case that I bought that I've still been using. This case is a beast. Now, I have dropped this thing several times. I have had this in my pocket before without any sort of protection. I have taken this worldwide. I mean, the Switch, yeah, that's gone around the US with me, but the PSP, I mean, this has made it all the way out to the Middle East and back here. So it's gone all over the place. Now, I received this brand new in Christmas of 2006. That's it. So I've had this for about 11 years longer than I've had this console. This console, again, I take very good care of it. I've always had it cased up. I've had to RMA it four times. This console has been dropped, has been abused several times, has been taken all over the world, has had multiple, countless firmware flashes and modifications that have bricked the system, that have recovered it, what have you. You know how many times that this thing has been permanently broken? to the point where I had to send it to Sony? Zero. You know how many times I've opened this thing up to fix anything? Zero. This system probably has the most playtime of any of my consoles. The one I'm holding right here, this specific one. So now I have to ask at this point, if I've had that with this system, if this has gone through all the abuse, all the experience, and it still looks great, really, it just has for the most part, I mean, it has some smudges, it has some very light surface scratches, and the faceplate has a very, very small crack right here, just above the screw. I have to ask, how the hell is it that this thing has been okay, this thing's been perfectly fine for the most part, but the Switch, I've had to RMA four times. Riddle me that, please riddle me that. that that's what I'm wanting to know. Because <laughs> I'm kind of chalking up to either luck or karma, or a little bit of both, I don't know. But either way, PSP's great. Now finally, if anybody might think that I'm taking abuse of Nintendo's kindness with the RMA procedures, I'm honestly not. The first time I had to send this system in, uh, I will take partial blame on it, but again, the thing did not go to sleep. It didn't go night-night. I put it in the case, still didn't go night-night, and the thing was cooking itself. So that seemed to be system air at that point as well too. Kind of a security issue as well, because I was thinking, like, if the battery's fucked up, I don't really know what's going on with this. Uh, so, they ended up taking that. Uh, when it came to the switch being bent, I told them, yes, this is outside of the warranty. If you all aren't going to do a free warranty repair on it, I'm just going to open it up and replace the parts I need to myself. And then they honored that. The next RMA, well, they didn't fix up. The system on the second RMA so I had to send it back and then this time around I told them straight up because they said that they were going to charge me and I was like y'all aren't going to charge me I'm not going to send it in like it's not even a I'm not I'm not trying to negotiate I'm just telling you like if you want to wait it, if you're going to waive the procedure fine I'll send it in if you're not going to do it I'll just live with a blown speaker and maybe fix it myself down the line and they honored as well too so what I'm saying is they could have declined me at any point in time but they decided not to, and big shout out to Nintendo for that. So either way, let's finally open this damn thing. All right, got my scissors here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of open it on my lap here. I'm gonna keep this case, not this case, I'm gonna keep this box as well too. I think I've gotten rid of the other boxes because uh, I'm just like, each time I'm like, oh, the switch will be okay, the switch will be okay. And it's not, obviously. But I have another, like, three-month warranty on this, so 
We'll see if I need to use it. I was really hoping the last time everything, a speaker of all things, guys. Really? Like a speaker? Jeebus. All right. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. We got the packing peanuts here. All right. That's, that's how it's looking, by the way, so far. Let me take this thing out. Okay. Got the switch. Got the paperwork down here. Let me look at the boring paperwork. All right. So, HW Gray, H-A-C-U-X-A, miscellaneous, Nintendo Switch miscellaneous use item for return order, service performed, part replacement. And here, according to the post repair instructions, let's see what's been checked. We have verified your problem and repaired or replaced the defective components. Your user information, which includes game save data, system settings, etc., has been loaded into your repaired, replaced system. And let's see. That's it. All right, those are the only two things that are checked. So let's take a look at the actual. Oh man, I'm smelling pack bean. That's everywhere. All right, let's go ahead and check out the actual console. Here. Do, 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 do. Got all open, I think. No, there we go. There we go. There we go. All right. To ensure optimal performance, we recommend using only official licensed products, including the original Nintendo Switch dock and the original AC adapter or licensed AC adapter. When charging your system or connecting to a TV or monitor, only licensed products undergo Nintendo's testing and evaluation process. Well, I, I do. What are you trying to say, Nintendo? What are you trying to say? I actually, the, the only thing I have, I'll show you all. The only thing I have even close to an unlicensed thing is my mini dock right here. But if I rip this thing open, this is just the official Nintendo dock. So it's still the original components, just in a different hardware casing. But I don't, that's another thing, I don't use any type of unlicensed stuff on here. So let's go ahead and take this apart. Ooh, and check this out. They kept my screen protector on. That kind of, well, I guess I'm going to use this for my other Switch. But I have, yes, I have another Switch. I use that one for mods and hacks and such. Uh, but I end up buying one of these because I ran out of screen protectors. I've done, I've run out of screen protectors twice at this point. I used one get because each of these comes with two. I used one, gave my other one to Devin. I used one, and then I had to RMA the switch. And then I used another one, and then had to RMA the switch. So I had to buy two more. But thankfully, this one has one on here. So I think I'm gonna use one of these finally on my hack switch. There we go. All right, everything looks fine. It's not bent like it was before. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's, uh, there we go. Cool. Let me go ahead and pop in my SD card, get all the accessories here, and I'm gonna fire this up. All right, so we got Joy-Con 1. We got Joy-Con 2. We got an SD card, and we also have Mario Kart 8 sitting in here as well. So Mario Kart, even though I love you, I'm not going to be uh, popping this to the system yet. Just to give you all the same basis, I'm going to put South Park back in here. So let me put the SD card in. All right, it's been popped in. Let me get my South Park cartridge. All right, so turning on the console, let's make sure this works. There we go. Nintendo, check that out. It's working. All right. There we go. Cool. Uh, pop this cartridge in. Doot, doot, doot. Oh, this is really weird. For some reason, both the SD card and the uh, game cart slots, like, already... It felt like, you know, they already pushed down. All right. Cool. All my stuff seems to be here. South Park comes up. Let's go ahead. Turn this on. Oh, I don't hear any nasty noises so far. This is good. This is very good. <laughs> All right. Uh, once we get to the uh, the home menu here, or not the home menu, but the main menu on the game, uh, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put this up to the microphone with the speakers, and uh, we'll be able to tell almost immediately if this is working. Again, for me, the, the home sounds are no longer distorted and nasty, so that's good so far. Seems to be remedied. God, this, this is the only thing with South Park. It takes forever to load on here. Like, these loading times are kind of abysmal on the game, but it's such a fun game. I've, I've missed playing this, man. I, I've been playing games on the PSP recently. With, well, PSP Vita, which has been great, but it's no Switch. It's, it's no Switch. I don't know, it's just it's frustrating, you know, when you're in the middle of an RPG, you have to give up the system, but oh well. All right, so I'm in here. Let's go ahead, press start. I'm going to turn the volume up. I'm going to block the right speaker and put the left speaker up to the microphone.
And here is the right speaker. So that seems to be all well and good. Let me make sure my microphone levels are on point as well too. Yes. So everything seems to be good now at this point. That is fantastic. All right. Well, I'm very happy just to check the system settings as well too. Let's see what firmware we're on. We're on firmware 5.1. So all good on that at least so far. Right now while I'm recording this, this is the latest firmware that is out. And that's one last thing I want to address. Some people might be saying, oh, well, you're dumb for sending it in because... This is, if you don't understand this, that's fine because this is going to be more modding related. But there's essentially an exploit for the Switch called Fuse Jelly, which allows you complete boot ROM access on the console. Nintendo has started patching this on newer revisions. So one question I have is, did I get the console itself replaced or did they just swap out the speaker? which I'm going to test this on here for the first time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into the RCM mode. I'm going to try and launch a payload. I just want to launch a payload. That's it. And if the payload launches, that means they did not replace the console itself. But if the payload does not launch, then that means the system has been replaced. And if it has, it doesn't really bug me all too much. Just do the fact that, again, I wanted to get this fixed under warranty didn't want to pay for it and this specifically is a switch that i'm not going to run any type of mods on except for this one time <laughs> just this payload just this once just to test this that's why i have the second console available i can do all my fun hacky stuff on there so i'm going to give this a shot here on camera before we go all right so i got everything available i downloaded tegra rcm gui or gui on my computer i got a payload i got the switch with a jig right here and i got my cable so what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to show you everything on camera. Oh, let me turn the thing off first. Come on. Power off. Turn off. There we go. It's turning off. All right. Now to do this, again, looks like I got my system all jigged up and ready to go. Pull down the volume button. Turn this thing on. And on my computer, it's all black right here, but on my computer it does say RCM OK. Let me inject the payload. And there we go. All right. So check that out. Hey, I, I say Hecate. That's that's what I say. Or some people say Hecate. I don't know. But that's it right there. So as you can see, this console is still vulnerable. So best of all, Nintendo did not replace the system. They only replaced the speaker. That's all they needed to do. Meaning that dude kind of finessed me on the phone. He was saying they were going to give me a whole new system, but they did not. But that's all good because I actually, in this instance, I did not want them to. So therefore, this means that if I ever want to, I can fully hack up this switch. Uh, however, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to power this off. And there we go. Remove my jig. Remove all this stuff. And there we go. So again, uh, only thing that was replaced seems to be the speaker. I think we're good to go on that point. And we still have an exploitable switch in case we ever want to do that. So therefore, no one can say that I sacrificed a, a, well, a exploitable switch, because I didn't. <laughs> Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. I'm going to play some Switch. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to take these hats off. No more hats. And um, I really don't want to wear an eighth hat. Please don't make that happen, Nintendo. Please. Please. Seven was enough. Six was enough. All right? Five was enough. Five, it shouldn't have gone past five. Shouldn't have gone past five.